impact earth report groundwater pumping in Arizona has drastically affected our water supply, but it's also leading to a permanent change in the landscape, causing the land itself to sink. Meteorologist Jorge Torres joining us in studio, highlighting new research, Jorge, that uh, shows where this is happening. Yeah, Katie, Colorado State University researchers developed a model that maps where land is sinking due to excessive groundwater pumping. And in the U.S., Arizona is one of the hot spots. For decades, the ground underneath some of Arizona's hard surfaces has been sinking centimeter by centimeter, with no signs of stopping due in part to the amount of groundwater being pumped out. We know that when people pump groundwater, that that is a big cause of subsidence. Subsidence, or the gradual caving in or sinking of an area of land, has been a problem in Arizona's agricultural centers, where lots of water is used to irrigate crops and feed livestock. Groundwater pumping is part of the reason for the sinking. The study essentially found that areas that have a lot of clay in the subsurface, that clay is really weak and it compacts really easily. Places in southeastern Arizona like Wilcox have some of the worst subsidence in the state, sinking close to 10 feet since the late 1960s. The mapping done by CSU highlights the hot spots here and across the nation. ASU's Kyle Center for Water Policy also shows Gila Bend as an area dealing with subsidence. This can lead to infrastructure damage and has in the past. You might think if you're in an agricultural area, like what infrastructure? Well, there's canals, there's railways. Land fissures or openings on the surface can develop too, taking out roads in the process. For now, concerns about subsidence remain outside of Arizona's metropolitan areas like Phoenix or Tucson, but with continued water shortages on the Colorado River and lack of groundwater regulation in rural Arizona, the issue will undoubtedly continue in other parts of our state. We don't just have to stop depleting our aquifers. We have to start replenishing our aquifers. Otherwise, subsidence will continue for potentially decades in some areas. For Impact Earth, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona.